Hello children, I hope you all are doing a good job at home. Today, let us continue with chapter 2, numbers up to 999 from the primary mathematics textbook. And we shall learn the topic number names and numerals. Now, as you know, in this chapter, we are learning numbers up to 999. We shall be using a three spike abacus. Now look at this abacus. It shows H, T and O written on it. The H represents the hundredths place, the T represents the tens place and O represents the ones place. Now let us understand the topic number names and numerals with the help of an example. Let us read the number name written here. It's written 356. It has to be written in the numeral form that is 356. The numeral 356 can be written in the expanded form like this. As 3 is in the hundreds place. So its value becomes 300. And 5 is at the tens place. So its value becomes 50. And 6 is at the ones place. So its value is 6. Now we will represent 300 on the abacus. So this is 100, this is 200 and this becomes 300. And now we will represent 50 on the Abacus. This becomes 10, then 20, this is 30, 40 and 50. And now we will be representing ones, that is how many ones? 6. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So in this way, we have represented the number name 356 in numeral form and we have presented it on the abacus like this. Now let us take another example. The number name written here is 425. It has to be written in the numeral form. This is 425. Now this we will be representing it on the abacus. The number 425 can be written in the expanded form like this. As 4 is in the hundreds place, its value becomes 400. And 2 is at the tens place, so its value is 20. And 5 is at the ones place. Now we will represent 425 on the abacus. So this becomes 100, this becomes 200, this becomes 300 and this becomes 400. So this becomes 400. Now this is 10 and this is 20. And lastly the ones. How many ones? 5. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So in this way we have represented 425 on the abacus. So in this way the number name 425 is written in numeral form and it is presented on the abacus like this. So we have learnt how to represent the number name in numeral form and represented on the abacus. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.